We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And so the Lord of glory be with you. And the Lord bless you, and you, and you. We come now to a time when we say sorry to God for those things we've said or done, which if we really think about it, we shouldn't have done really. So let's just now begin those prayers that we're so familiar with as we say our confession together. For all the times we make you feel sad, we want to say sorry, Lord. For the times when we are angry and grumpy, we want to say sorry, Lord. For the times when we are rude or naughty, we want to say sorry, Lord. For the times when we deliberately disobey, we want to say sorry, Lord. For the times when we are selfish or unkind, we want to say sorry, Lord. For all the wrong we do, things we do, Lord, wipe away our sins. Amen. And so we receive God's forgiveness. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us when we get things wrong and bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So welcome back to our new year of services together. Our services begin this year with the season of Epiphany. It's a continuation of the Christmas story, really. Uh, in the light of the world coming into the world as in Christ, uh, we share together parts of the early part of his story, and the beginning of that story is what we're going to share in today. Uh, the story which is very familiar to lots of us, which we might think of as the Three Kings. And Miss Blake is going to share something of that uh, later in the video. So the season of Epiphany runs uh, for a few weeks until we come uh, just at the end, uh, be probably the end of January, and we move into a season starting to think about Lent and leading up to Easter. But this wonderful time of the year is that uh, extension of the celebrations that we remember at Christmas time, the birth of Christ and his early life. So as we go through this video together, um, maybe we can start to think about not just the Christmas time, but our journey onwards from there as we look towards the growth and life of Christ. Today's story is called The Wise Men's Visit. The sky was black, the night was clear, the stars were bright as diamonds. Perfect, said the star watcher, just as it should be. But just then God nudged the brightest star and sent it floating like a kite across the night sky. Quick, called one of the star watchers to his friend. Come and see, there's a new star. And that means a new king, said the second star watcher. Somewhere a new king is about to be born. I'll tell you what, said the third star watcher. Let's follow the star and see. So the three star watchers climbed onto their camels and set off after the star. When it zigged, they zigged. When it zagged, they zagged across deserts and mountains and rivers until they reached the land of God's people, the Jews. We have come a long way, said the first star watcher to King Herod. We have followed a remarkable star, added the second star watcher. So can you tell us where the baby is, asked the third star watcher. The baby born King of the Jews. King of the Jews? King of the Jews? King Herod repeated, trying hard not to look upset. Let me speak with my advisers. And so King Herod called a meeting, a meeting that was not a very happy one. King of the Jews, the king shouted, King of the Jews, I am the king of the Jews. Y y y yes, your majesty, his advisers mumbled. But God always promised that one day he would send a special king. But perhaps he is the one the star watchers are looking for. Hmm, Herod muttered. And where does this God say this special king will be born? In Bethlehem, your majesty, the city of David. Send for the star watchers, King Herod ordered. I have decided what I shall do. Gentlemen, said the king, the child you seek is somewhere in Bethlehem. Go to him, find him, and then come and tell me where he is so that I can visit him too. 
The king said this with a smile, but his heart was black, black as a night sky without stars, for he had already determined to kill the child so that no one would take his place as king. The star watchers didn't know that when they left, but they soon found out, for the same God who had nudged a star into the sky had visited them in a dream and told them the king's dark plan. So when they went to see young Jesus, they gave him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh, and they went straight home with stars in their eyes and God in their hearts. It's our time of prayer now. So hands together and eyes closed. Thank you, God, for sending us Jesus. Thank you that you love us so much. Help us to have you in our hearts too. Amen. And we come to that very special prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those. As we forgive those who sin against us. Who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom. For the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Are yours. Are yours. Now. Now. And forever. And forever. Amen. And so we go with God's blessing. May God fill us with all joy and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Spread joy and peace wherever you go. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.